So the final race of the week, and indeed the first bonus race of the season, is the Velka Pada Beaker Chase. And this is normally the province of Stew. He knows all about this sort of stuff, but I'm going to be doing it this season. And at the top we've got Finding Alice for Martin Hill, last year's Whitbread Gold Cup winner, and second in the Gold Cup, Cheltenham Gold Cup two seasons ago. Sweet Women David Hooley, that's why she's top weight. Of course, Agent Decoy for Padraig Hogan, Tintin Farrell, Padraig Hogan, Captain Mannering, Martin Leadham, Dino Wager, David Robertson, Friendly Vantage, Darren Thompson, Paul Sotilla, Alex Cherry, National Madam, Joshua Sutherland, Glenfard, Fredlock, Alex Cherry, Ironical Harold for Graham Clitable, Ideal Art, David Hooley, Newsflash, Martin Cairns, Settler for... Craig Beckwith and Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper. So all sorts of weird and wonderful places to go on this one. Then they're away and racing. They've got hedges to jump, walls to jump, fences to jump, ploughed fields to run through. A lot. It makes the race at Cheltenham look like a walk in the park as they get over the first and they're all safely over it. And I wouldn't want to be the leader in this because have a clue what direction to go in because they seem to go backwards forwards and inside out and all over the place they're over the second of the 30 fences that they've got to take you already wanted to and a few nods on landy but national madam has gone to the lead on friendly vantage tints in fire up and then captain mannering as they get to the next which is a water jump and they're all safely over that one let's see all those crowd there standing around that car I look like they guarded it with national madam in front as they head to the next grand national type fence and oh, there's a faller at the back there it's ideal art that's gone so the first of david hoolies has gone he's still got sweet women but it's national madam who's the leader as they get down to this next one now they're in some sort of field type thing National Madam is in the lead. Apologies for not being as expert at this race as Stu. Hopefully next season Stu will be back to take control as they take the next. And National Madam's the leader from Tintin Fire in second. Captain Manor in third. Friendly Vantage is fourth. And then Friendly Harold News Flash with Glenfire Fredlot. Been around a season or two. A little gap then to Dino Wager finding nice the grey on the inside. The top weight as they get over the next. They're all safely over it. With the back to Settler and Sweet Women at the back. They continue to race on this. Whether it's an all weather strip or whether it's a field or what it, what it is, but it's not grass. They come to this next one, which is like two fences really close together, almost like show jumping as they get over those. And they're all over it okay, one or two didn't jump it all that well. Captain Mannering didn't appear to like it a lot. Uh, they get to this ditch and then uh, they're back out onto grass again. And uh, there's a faller at the back there, Settler's gone. So Craig Beckwith has lost his Settler there. Uh, National Madam is continuing to lead by five or six lengths. To Tintin Fire in second, Glen Fife Redlock has moved through into third in ironical Harold and friendly vantage news flashes next captain Mannering lost his place after that mistake in the purple and white stripes on the outside as they take this plane fence back into the field momentarily now back onto the turf again uh, national madam showing the way towards the back Sarah Manamu is now the back marker and about 20 lengths or so off the lead as they take this next one by this big screen and they all take that one nicely that's a good job the leader knows where to go because I wouldn't have thought of going around there but well, nowhere else to go really is it as they get to this next one uh, very sharp turn and his ironical Harold has gone there so Graham Clutterbuck has lost his ironical Harold I'm guessing that Graham Clutterbuck probably built this course he seems to build most of the courses that we use that aren't regular ones in the game as they now head back onto the field and towards these railing things jumping into the car park as they all get over that one okay looking towards the back finding Alice the top weight maybe some would say the class act in the field not really enjoying this I don't think and nowhere else to send her this week there was nowhere to send her last week either so 
Don't have any other option as they get over this next one. And they're all over that one and back into the ploughed field again with National Madam in front. Tints in final second, back over the gates. And over that one they all go. And it's National Madam in the lead. Oh, I'm sure when there's a breather, and 17 of the 13 fences taken, we can run through the field and see where they are. There seems to be a jump every two seconds as they get over this next water jump. Uh, National Madam is in the lead by a bat. Three lengths or so from Friendly Vantage in second, then Glenfire, Fredlot, and Tints in final. Then comes Agent Decor, then Captain Manor in Dino Wages after that one. Then News Flash, and there's a bit of a gap to Sweet Women. Then Pulsatilla getting a first mention, and finally the back two of well, the Grey Finding Alice and Sarah Manamu, the back marker for Matt Cooper as they take this water, which they all take nicely. And National Madam continuing to lead. Over this fence and back into the ploughed field again. With Paul Satilla just dropping towards the rear. Finding Alice is now the back marker as they get to this double again. And they're all safely over that one. Finding Alice definitely struggling with the weight and the track, probably. And it's National Madam in the lead. Oh, Dinah Wager has now come through into second. Friendly Vantage's next tints in final is after that one. As I take that tiny hurdle, I'm sure they've not took that one before. And <laughs> Finding Alice nearly fell at it, would you believe? And he jumped those great big things and he tripped over a line of matchboxes. But it's National Madam who's in front from Tints in Fire in second, Friendly Vantage in third, then Grinfly Fredlots after that one. And Dino Wager, News Flash is getting closer. Captain Manorin has switched to the other side. He's won over the cross country course at Cheltenham in the league, so maybe you should be coping with this a little bit better. Sarah Manamu is the one who's creeping up nicely through the field. And he bottom weight. They're into the final mile almost now as they take this next one and there's a faller there's a couple of fallers pulsatilla has gone and Newsflash has gone as well so two more gone finding Alice is starting to tail off Chuck having a look, look around see if there's anything behind he might pull that one up shortly but it's National Madam in the lead back over the railings again as they get over that National Madam from Agent Decoy and Friendly Vantage. Tints in final is back in fourth. Then Glen Five Fredlot. Sarah Manamu is still creeping closer. Then Dino Wager. Captain Manorin being given the hurry up. Then Sweet Women. Finding Alice is now starting to run on and as maybe picking up some interest in this but it's National Madam who's in the lead coming down towards the next pops over that one in the lead that was a fourth from home and it's National Madam who's still in front coming down towards the next through this plowed field again look at this Sarah Madam who coming through for Matt Cooper into second then Agent Decoy is third Friendly Vantage is fourth then uh, Catty Manorin's trying to get into it over the third last they go and National Madam is over it in front from Sarah Madam who in second Agent Decoy is third then Dino Wager Catty Manorin on the inside Side is next. Then after that one, Glen Fry, Fred Lot, Tints in fire or finding Alice is trying to run on. They're coming down to the second last and over it they go and it's still National Madam who's been in the lead all the way. Being chased by Agent Decoy, Dino Wager and Sarah Manamu. Three furlongs still to go but only one more to take and it's National Madam who's well clear of Dino Wager in second. Agent Decoy is on the inside. Then comes Sarah Manamu back in fourth as they head towards the final fence in the Velka and it's National Madam who's four or five clear coming down this final fence he's clearing the lead from Agent Decoy in second Dino Wager third Sarah Madam who fourth nothing else in it as they get over the final hurdle and it's National Madam who's going to be a pillar to post winner of this Velka Pardamica the first really big race of the season he's going to go to Joshua Sutherland and National Madam is going to take it that's laying down a national credentials for later in the season as National Madam takes it Agent Decoy is I think going to hold on for second from Dino Wager third and then Friendly Vantage Sarah Madam who tints in final one after that one and then Sweet Woman all the way back to find Alice who didn't enjoy that experience at all and National Madam is the easy winner really no, nothing got anywhere nearer and uh, took that one to give Joshua Sutherland a winner in the final race of week two and it's National Madam who takes it then National Madam for Joshua Sutherland on the winner Agent Decoy Patrick Hogan second Dino Wager David Robertson third Friendly Vantage 
for Darren Thompson fourth and Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper was fifth.